Francis the Firefly. In the kingdom of the insects, all creatures have a special gift from Mother Nature. Some have been given the gift of flight, some the gift of super strength, and others the gift of beauty. So the insects, being a friendly and helpful bunch, agreed long ago that they would all work together and build a wonderful land where they could all live happily. They decided that the ants would build the houses, the busy bees would make lots of honey, and the spiders would spin silky silvery webs to decorate the land and make it look beautiful. Now the fireflies were given a very special job to do. As you know, the insects love the night time, but because it's very dark, they find it hard to see where they're going. So it was agreed that the fireflies, with their glowing tail torches, would act as tiny rays of sunlight and brighten the evening sky so everyone else could see what they were doing. At the time of our story, Frances the firefly was only young and not yet able to make her tail glow brightly like the older fireflies. She would practice all the time, flapping her wings and trying very, very hard, but still her tail only shone dimly. And this made her feel very sad. All the other insects told Frances that one day she'd be able to join in with the grown-ups. But Frances didn't want to wait. One evening, Frances was sitting on a twig, feeling very sorry for herself, when Cocky Roach appeared. Cocky was a very naughty young cockroach, always in trouble. He knew why Frances was upset and thought he would trick her into joining him in one of his rotten games. Come with me, Frances, he said. I'll show you how to light up the night. Francis couldn't resist. Cocky took Francis back to his hiding place and pulled back a leaf. There, to her surprise, was a box of matches. <laughs> My mummy left these on the table at home last week and still hasn't noticed they're missing. With these, you can really burn brightly. Francis had been told many times how dangerous matches could be, but Cocky had her under his spell. She wanted so much to be like the grown-up fireflies. She took a match from the box and, with Cocky's help, lit it. The flame burned brightly and a flickering glow shone all around her. Delighted with her newly found torch, she took to the sky. Have fun, Francis, Cocky yelled. How grown up you look with your lovely torch. And with that, Cocky ran to another hiding place where he could secretly watch his plan take shape. Up and up Francis flew. Brighter and brighter the match burned. Just wait till everyone sees what I can do, she thought. But she didn't notice the flame burning larger and larger until just as she was above the center of the insect forest, it burnt her wings. The pain was so bad that Frances instantly dropped the match from her grasp and it fell to the ground. It landed on a pile of twigs that the ants had gathered and of course they started to burn. It was only a matter of minutes before the whole forest was burning. All the good work that the insects had done was ruined. The houses were destroyed, the honey factory in cinders, and even worse, many insects were very badly burned. The next morning, when the fire had finally been put out, the insects held an emergency meeting. King Chrysalis, a very grand butterfly who ruled the insect kingdom, rose up to speak. Frances, her wings all black and burned, sat below, feeling very ashamed and still in a lot of pain. The king asked the insects to rebuild their land and make it beautiful again. It was decided that Frances had learned her lesson and that she should not be punished further. But she knew that it would be a long time before she'd be able to fly again. I hope now, King Chrysalis said to Frances, that you realize how dangerous fire can be. Indeed, she did. In time, Frances helped the rest of her friends to rebuild their kingdom. She was also given her own job to do. Every now and then, she would gather up all the younger insects and tell them her story. They would sit and listen to the tale and understand why they should never play with matches. And as for Cocky Roach, he was sent away from the insect kingdom forever. And even today can sometimes be found scuttling amongst the litter bins and cupboards in towns and villages looking for something to eat. Remember, never play with matches. <laughs>